Alright guys, I get a lot of questions about how to data log via SCT and Livewire on Facebook and the forums. So uh, instead of answering numerous questions constantly and hoping that you're understanding what I'm saying, I decided I was going to make a little video for you here, hopefully simplify things. Sitting in my 2008 GT here and I will be using a X3 old I know but it works so uh, what we have for the X3 here is a simple USB to printer cord that always plugs into the bottom of your X3 it's easier when you have two hands there we go and if you are data logging you should have a wideband that needs to be wired up to a firewire cable I have a six pin firewire cable right here and it is wired to my LC1 wideband there and I also have it wired into my cobalt digital boost gauge you'll see that in a minute that wire gets plugged into the top of your X3 or X4 right here like so okay you're also gonna need yourself a handy dandy little laptop to the whole $200 at Walmart little Acer Aspire nothing fancy and you're gonna need live link and device updater for loading your tunes we'll get into that later and I recommend if you're going to data log to go ahead and set yourself up with a couple folders specific for data logging everybody can see here yes I data log with Lido so in order to protect his rights to his software and expertise, I made a couple test configuration files, but we'll go into data logs here. This is where I keep my, save my data logs in here, and the configuration files that Manuel sends me are right inside here. If you're data logging with a wideband, you are going to have to have a configuration file equation for analog and I put it right in here that way I can just come in here and select it and copy so I can paste it right into live link later this is a equation I just made up for this again protecting Manuel's expertise so anyway here we go select live link here you're gonna have to have key on there we go we got wideband heating up over here boost vacuum over here and go ahead and plug into the OBD2 and let your X3 boot up. Ready to go. Take your USB cable right here, plug it into your laptop. Ta da! Alright, now it's time to open Live Link. This is just my computer asking me if I want to actually start the program. I got to figure out how to shut that off. Anyway, here we are in the live link. So now we need to load our configuration file. So you go to File, Open Live Link Configuration. This is where you will go find the configuration file that was sent to you by your tuner. right here is our test file so I will select that G 
cheap computer means slow computer. It's going to ask you if you want to connect to the vehicle ECU. Yes. Now, your X3 should have gone into pass-through mode. Let's see if I can get that on the screen here. There it is. And your PIDs for your configuration file should be loaded up on your computer. Now, your analog signal from your wideband is going to do you absolutely no good to your tuner unless you put the equation in for that analog signal. So, you go up here to Commands, Analog Equations. Whichever analog your wideband is on, that would be where you put the equation for your air fuel ratio. Most of you have it on analog one, so we'll go ahead and we will paste that equation in there. Click on OK. It'll take it a minute to load that. I'm going to have to go ahead and make my computer load that. Now it says we're ready. Alright, then to start the log, little green button right here. Click that, and that will start the data log. It's going to take it a minute. It'll have to initialize the PIDs. And you should be collecting data. There it is. Can't get any easier than that, guys. Hit the red button to stop. It always takes a moment to stop the log as well. The longer the log, the more time it takes. Once the log is stopped, file, save data log as. Go ahead and save it on your computer and it will be ready to email back to your tuner. Hope this, uh, hope this helps explain things, guys. Thanks.